Okay, g'day everyone. It's us. My name's Dr. Stephen Quarrell from the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture. I'm here to talk to you about extracting red berry mites from blackberries. As you all know, the red berry mites uh, cause red berry disease, so it stops the ripening of the, the droplets within the within the blackberry and leaves them hard and um, unsaleable, basically leaves the fruit unsaleable. So one of the things we've been working on is trying to develop a more predictive tool so you can work out whether you're going to have red berry mite issues um, in the following season. So the first thing you're going to need for uh, bud sampling is buds. So we recommend going out into a, whatever a block or a tunnel that is that you believe might have red berry mite problems or you might just want to survey your whole crop um, is to go out and, and get 10 buds per block. So it's done pretty easily, so we're using little safety razors there, but you could easily use a, a safety knife, like a Stanley knife, um, to safely get the buds away and just chip it away, um, leaving it as intact as possible. So once you've collected all the buds that you need, uh, then um, take them, of course, take them back to your workshop or the lab or office or wherever it is that you're choosing to, to do it. And then you're going to need a few things. So you're going to need some tweezers, or as we call them in science jargon, forceps. Um, some sort of sharp scalpel or safety knife. A transparent dish of some sort to put the, um, the bud in and the extraction solution. Um, we recommend ethanol or diluted methylate spirits will work just as well, but diluted bleach. Um, some of the really liquid hand sanitizers have uh, got a high ethanol content that they'll work just as well and then you'll need some sort of black card to put under the dish because red berry mites are pale in colour and you need that visual contrast to be able to spot them in the liquid and then of course you need some sort of good dissecting microscope and there are a number of options available so we're using a desktop version in this demonstration but you can get some really good little plug-in versions that will plug into a USB port on your laptop if that's the way you want it to go. Once you've got them into wherever it is that you're going to do your extractions um, you just take your bud, put it into the little dish, apply the extraction solution, whatever you're using. As I said, we're using 70% ethanol here. And then get your sharp safety blade. And basically, we just need to cut that bud in half. You know, so you can cut it into pieces if you really want to. But we've really got to, the important thing is you get that extraction solution, the ethanol or whatever it is that you're using in underneath the bud scales to really try and flush out those red berry mites that are hiding in under there because that's where they're hanging out over winter. Um, you were just sort of spreading it out a little bit to help get the ethanol penetration in there and then we're just going to give it a good swizzle so we recommend about a minute is normally more than enough and that'll flush all those red berry mites out from underneath those bud scales so once we've done that we'll just sort of wipe off the excess ethanol and leave it in the dish, it's a bit more useful to you there and then stick it underneath the microscope so once you've done all that and you're looking under the microscope this is what we're really looking for so it's this little white blob and they're pretty innocuous it obviously because it looks a lot different to a lot of the predatory mites and other mite species that you might have seen like two-spotted mite so it's a little worm-like might and sometimes if you can see it moving you can just see them there the the legs poke out of, of one end so they don't come out like a spider might does or anything like that so you're just looking for this little worm type thing of course you will also see other mite fauna or hopefully see other mite fauna while you're going there so an area fired mites there um, which is the same as a red berry mite you can see the little legs on the graphic there but then you might also or hopefully you'll see some of these more uh, predatory phytoseed mites um, the type of things that you're releasing into your crop hopefully and you may also see some native species as well um, there are also another other a number of other species so broad mites or tarsinomyids uh, you sometimes see on the fruit although they tend to be uh, more on the leaves um, tideids which are sort of a an oval shaped mite that are generally deemed to be relatively neutral within a crop so there are some predatory species but others will feed on fungal spores and then you'll see some of the other things like spider mites, so tetranicid mites, so two-spotted mites and stuff like that, which I'm sure you're already familiar with for all the wrong reasons. Of course, you know, um, you may see issues in your fruit during the cropping season, so we still condone or, or, or promote 
uh, fruit sampling during the season if you see something that looks a little bit suspect um, you may see some fruit that looks like this or possibly even like that and then, you know it is worth going in and having a look at what your red berry might numbers might be look like in that fruit because some of these issues um, especially the new varieties are still unresolved about so how some red berry mite damage may translate out into the fruit and then there are other issues as well like pollination or other damage that may cause red berry mite like damage but may not be there so it is still worth um, sampling mite, uh, mite sampling in fruit and basically it's going to be the same method but instead of chopping off the mite you'll remove the fruit including the calyx the red berry mite will be hiding in underneath the calyx that's why you tend to get a bit of a red collar on red berry mite damage um, and then stick that fruit into a, some sort of container a small vial or something with the ethanol in exactly the same way you've done with the buds and give it a good shake around for a minute remove the fruit and again look underneath the microscope and you'll hopefully well ho hopefully you won't find any red berry mite